Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been so long since I posted anything what with lockdown and a new baby in my house. But I've uh, been planning on doing this one for ages, so here we go. Today I wanted to talk about my EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry, term I picked up from watching many a prepper's video. Love watching them videos. Uh, love the gear that guys use and the planning that they're doing. Uh, yeah, I just enjoy watching it. So. Uh, one of the many items they cover are their everyday carries and I says, well look at I might as well put one together myself. It's basically a glorified man bag uh, that carries all your bits and pieces that you could use for everyday life. Uh, if you're sort of stuff that you wish you had and you, you little, never thought to put in the bag. Uh, so yeah, I put one together. Uh, I bring it with me in my car all the time. Be lying if I told you I brought it to the shops or anything because I don't. It stays in my car. Unless I'm going uh, taking photos and hiking, it'll go in my camera bag. I'll bring it with me then. So it's basically, it's within 20 feet of me at any time. Uh, when I work, it's in the car. Um, you know, there. So look at Quick look at it here. Mightn't look like much there. It just looks like a big bundle. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in it. And I'm going to throw it on the table now. And we'll have a look and see what you think. Okay. So here we have the bag. Now, first of all, I've wrapped in this. It is a buff. Uh, great things to have. Serves as a scarf, um, a mask, very useful in these times. Uh, balaclava, a hat, any sort of thing like that. You know, really, really useful. Uh, for keeping warm if you, an extra layer of clothing and it just wraps over the bag and keeps it all neat. This bag fits in a little, little uh, cubby hole in uh, my car between the driver's seat and the passenger seat and it just slots in there. It fits perfect. So the bag I'm going with is the Maxpedition. Maxima, I think it's the beefy is the one I have and uh, it works a treat. They're really, really good little bags. They're super sturdy really well made and you can cram loads into it so look i'll start on the outside of the bag straight away always have a sharpie something you use all the time so sharpie is great for have um just to have handy uh really useful make sure you have one with you so i've all sorts of bits and bobs obviously i've got a headlamp brilliant it's a great little headlamp again this is cheap as chips I believe it only cost me about ten dollars or ten euros 15 euros i think on amazon got lots of different functions uh, flashes it's great great thing to have and um, again can never be uh, it's great when you're taking photos for looking at night time looking through your gear uh, bag um, yeah great to have use that a lot so put that I'm over there what else have we got here whistle so idea of this bag is most stuff is to have stuff that I need uh, on a on a daily basis and I forget to bring and then about 50% of the bag is full of stuff that I'll probably never need so <laughs> a whistle hopefully I will never need but it's for emergencies and it's really should have a whistle this is um these are quite loud and you can get them again on Amazon or any camping store great thing to have so whistle attached to the outside I have as you can see at the back of here I have a bunch of carabiner clips uh, again, really useful to have for all sorts of uses to have a carabiner clip. I have these little pegs. I picked them up in the camping store and um, again, probably never need them, but they're good to have. They're um, aluminium. They can be used for tying things down, pegging uh, rope to, to the ground, um, all sorts of things. Emergency use, I guarantee you'll never need them, but I have them. <laughs> right, you can see here the handle paracord it's a trick you learn when you watch a lot of the uh, youtube videos the guys do it the girls do it and it works really good i've actually got 20 foot of paracord there wrapped around the handle and uh, really really just there again for emergency use only this here it's just a little velcro strappy uh, i think the paracord came in it again it's a uh, i had it velcro it sticks on it could be used for all sorts of things so i just stuck it on to have it now what else have we got here oh god this thing is jammed so fire starter kit so in here we have matches lighter uh, sharpener for sharpening bits of wood to get uh, uh, wood flakes out of to uh, help start for kindling basically this is cotton buds with vaseline on it this stuff burns really really well <laughs> one little spark and that'll take off so 
Again here, I got this one of the these bits of waxy um, material here, and again a little piece of uh, I don't know if you can see it there. It's a little piece of wood that I've gonna again for kindling. Now look at they're only small. There's about two or three different ways of starting fire there, and I've got more in the bag, so I keep it in this little waterproof baggie. Uh, so look, I'm never sure for a light. There you go. Next, let's open it up and have a look what's inside. Now, as you can see, it's a ch chocolate block full of stuff. <laughs> Let's just start and go through it all. Here we go. We got uh, this little pen jobby that I found in a hardware store, and it's actually got a um, load of um, heads for screwdriver heads. So they attach on here. So you've got Phillips heads, all different small uh, flat heads. Lots of different types of screwdriver heads, a handy tool to have. I have actually used that, so this is one of the things I've actually been short one day, a uh, Phillips head, and I've grabbed that and used it, and that's again, it's just a little jobby, takes up very little space, and it's actually got a little torch, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little torch there. Now, not much light out of that, but it's there. Right, what else we got here? We have pencil. Again, another means of writing, and this is a good, strong graphite pencil, lead, very hard to break the lead in this and I have the pair if need to sharpen this oh look it's not folks there but it's just a pencil and it's in this little straw and this little straw is part of this jobby here it's for this it's the Sawyer um, mini water filter again for emergency use only if you're no access to clean water maybe you're hiking home and you need to drink out of a puddle stick that bad boy in there and uh Bish bash bosh, you can drink filtered water. It's again, there's a million reviews of this product on the internet and it uh, seems to work a treat. That's what those little baggies for. You can use in conjunction with that stores, I don't know, I think 500 ml of water and uh, you can fill that up and filter it through there. And there's just several ways of using it. But um, I've tested it, it works. I've never used it other than a test and hopefully never will have to. What else we got here? This is just a, um, a bag, again, it's just a, one of these water bags for um, keeping electronics uh, dry. And again, it could be used for storing water, but again, if you're out and about and you need to keep your phone dry and secure, you can throw it in that and it's fully water rated and you can pick them up anywhere um, handy to have. So what else, let's fly through this. Cable ties, yeah, just because I could fit them in. Actually, they're not cable ties, they're... Um, I forget what you call those things, but they're like similar little cable ties. You can use them for tying stuff. Anyway, take up no space. There it goes. Now, more practical stuff here. We have a um, just a USB-C charger. Uh, sure, no need to explain how useful these things are. And uh, I have a little dongle on it here for adapting it to various types. Uh, I think it's a USB-C. I'm not sure it's one, but there's lots of another adapter in there so basically i can charge two or three different types of phones and devices i have all the adapters we have here a um this is for uh another means of starting fire it's a i think it's a fair cilium rod they call them and uh this little striker and well let me see if i get a spark yeah ah here let me get one there we go got a spark so again, using that with the uh, cotton balls soaked in Vaseline and uh, you'll get a fire going in no time. This little jobby came with that kit and it's basically a little bellows for uh, helping to start your fire, get it going. So there's lots of ways of starting fire in this. We have also got a simple little tool here. Get them in any of the campus stores, it takes up no space. It's a flathead screwdriver on a bottle opener loads of things like that knocking around we also have another torch and this one here is the lead lens master p5 and again it's small compact and it's just a second um uh redundancy as they call them but it's, it's this backup torch basically and uh, this is battery powered the head uh head torch i showed you earlier on is actually rechargeable which is the way i like to go with rechargeable devices and in the charge lasts on it for ages this little jobby is um, 
of the United States, you can access, I don't know, water, off, uh, water mains off buildings for let, lets you open and close them. But over here on Ireland, really, this is useful for getting into your fuse, for your outside fuse box, uh, NTL connections, water connections, gas connections, read meters and stuff like that. Handy to have. Again, you can open lift doors and things with them. So look, it takes up no space. It's in there. Don't think I'll let. Actually, I have. I like. I have used that for checking the meter. That's so. This is something I have used. Now, what else have we got here? So I've got a couple of knives. I've got this old Letterman. It's old, small little Letterman I've had for years and years. Fits in the bag. Again, something I've used loads and loads of times because it's got a good strong pliers on it. It's small, compact. Sure, Letterman's are ten a penny. You can get them anywhere. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Now, this is really, this is a good knife. I like this knife. This is a Swiss Army rescue tool. This is really, really good knife. The blade on this is so sharp, really sharp. Um, I'm not gonna show you the wall. We've all seen these knives, be similar knives before, but they are, um, this is a particularly good one. Again, I've used it loads. You'll see this yellow, actually it's a luminous yellow, so it's really easy to find at night time. It actually glows in the dark, so this one's excellent. Uh, will be a main knife and uh, the other letterman will be just a backup really. What else we got here? We got some lip balm. Birth bees, there you go, lip balm. In case your lips get chapped, I suppose. Never really had to use that, but it's there. And I'm sure just because of fit, I threw in some a uh, little stick of suntan uh sun what is it? Sun protector, sun block. There you go. That's in there. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going. Flying through this. We've got a. Actually, would you believe it? You can get these things. It's um, like a bow saw. Now, oh, these are five, five, six euros. Cost nothing. Wouldn't expect it to last too long. But I have used it. The way you use that is you'd pull it out, get a branch, uh, hook bow ends on the branch, and actually make a bow saw out of it, and it will cut quite well. Now. Emergency use only. I can't see it lasting too long, but sure, it takes up no space. It's there. Here we have some replacement battery for my torch. We have a little nail clipper. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, not focusing. Let me see if it focuses. Yeah, not really. Anywho, we have it there. We have some glue, super glue, and it fits in that little bag. And yeah, takes up no space. It's there as well. Let's keep going. Medical supplies. Ouchie boo boo kit. <laughs> this is something I've actually used loads of times. Uh, you've got salpatine in here, uh, you've got uh, painkillers, you've got diorolites, you've got uh, antihistamines, plasters. Um, yeah, stuff that generally, you know, you normally need. And uh, I've actually dug into that a few times. You'll also see I've got some water for purification tablets there. So yeah, that fits in the bag also. Let's keep going, fly through this. We've got a knife sharpener here. So I've just attached to the bag. It is... Um, a Lansky one, and uh, it's a very, very good little knife sharpener. Um, haven't had an emergency where I've needed it, but it's there. Fits in the bag, threw it in. Let's keep going. <coughs> Another one of these tools. Again, it's got, well, I don't know, bottle openers on it, screw, various flatheads and screwdrivers. We've all seen them. It's only credit card size, fits in the bag, no problem. Here we got something, never need it, but... Handy to have again if you're hiking, something happened and you're on your own, it might keep you warm for a little bit. It's an emergency space blanket. Or if I'm you know running the marathon and they don't have one to give it to me, I can put one on myself. There you go. So that's that side gone. Let's fly over. We're nearly through. This is oh. in here. We've got cash. Cash is king. So got like I don't know, 150 euros there. And we have a um power brick and this is just i mean have to have one of these let's see is it still 100 charge this particular one i'll put a link in the description it's 100 well it's a 10 000 milliamps it's really really good in that like i mean i charged this and i've left it for six months and it's still 100 percent. so you can't go wrong there it'll charge my phone more than twice and um you know it's portable power have used it it's, again it's definitely should have this in the bag have that in there with some cable ties like I said, some cash, some paper in there, and uh, again, it's in one of these little waterproof bags, so um, I don't have to worry about it getting wet. But yeah, um, a power brick, like I said, charge your phone, charge my uh, torch, charge, I don't know, my camera if I need it. So there you go, that's in there, nearly at the end of the bag. We've got some uh, duct tape, so just wrap a bit of duct tape around a um, piece of cardboard. We've got duct tape, lots of it, I don't know, probably six, seven meters of it there. And I believe that is it, so we're at the end of the bag, and like I said, um, the bag itself is just a really, really good bag. 
highly recommend it. It's like you saw how much stuff I've got jammed in there. And uh, yeah, I've a bit of fun putting that together. And uh, that's the bag. Oh yeah, found out a few things <laughs> just when I was putting it away. Like I said, this bag's crammed full of stuff. Uh, signal mirror, in case you're, I don't know, fall down a cliff and you need a signal for help. Uh, never used it, but sure, look, I have it just in case. Uh, what else I've got? Oh yeah, this, this is good, this is good. Look at this. It's not a credit card. It is a lock picking kit. Pick these up on Amazon for like 10 or 15 euros. And <laughs> they actually work. So you get it with a little practice lock and way more picks. But uh, I didn't think it would work. But honest to God, within half an hour, I was able to open a chub lock uh, on my garage and uh, various other locks. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. They actually work now. I didn't try it on my front door because I was afraid I'd break the thing. But I'd say if, if you practice at it, you can pretty much open it. Like, hard to believe, but they actually work. And sure, look, I threw it in there. And then finally, there is an actual yeah, SD card. Because sure, you always need SD cards, for, especially with photography. And uh, uh, if you want to transfer files, uh, missing a USB stick. That's what's needed in there. Other than that, there you go. I think that's everything. And there you go, now you've seen what's in my EDC, so uh, sure if you like what you've seen, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe would be great, and definitely leave a comment, let me know what I forgot, uh, what should be in the bag, what shouldn't be in the bag, and if you've got one like it yourself, uh, recommend doing it, handy to have, like I said, keep it in the car, it's an emergency bag, it's got tools in it, it's got some meds in it, bring it with you when you're going to take photography, throw it in the bag, fits in my bag, no problem, it's only a small jobby, um, yeah, it's great, oh yeah, I forgot. I had a compass on it as well, you know, help me get home, but yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, and I have to go and put all the crap back into this now, so, right, see you in the next one.